I'm gonna show you today how you can master your golf swing with this one simple backswing drill. This drill is great because it works on the tee, it works on the fairway with those scoring irons, and it also works for those smelly little chips around the green. So it truly does help you master your golf swing. So we're gonna do it on the 14th hole here at Motram Hall. This is actually one of my favorite holes and one that's actually very tough too. And I'll show you as we go down why. Now, as you know, if you are a current viewer and if you are a brand new viewer, welcome to the channel. This channel is powered by the viewers and today's question comes in from Xander all about the backswing. So let's get it answered. This is crucial. If you get your backswing wrong, so many compensations you've got to make in the swing. Now, let's firstly look at short game. Use this then, think of this, right? This makes so much sense. You're only in chipping, taking this club relatively a short distance back compared to driver, which we'll look at at the end. So if you get this wrong, okay, whether it's opening, closing, whatever you do, you've only got a short space of time to get it right. And that's why I think a lot of people hit fat, hit thin, knife it, horrible shots. So this is how you set up this. And remember the setup will slightly change depending on the club. We've got our target here, right? I'm gonna go one, two of my size seven and a half feet back directly down backwards of my ball to target line. Okay, place that golf ball down. And I'm gonna address my golf ball and I'm gonna move the ball now a club head inside of that. Okay, that's the steps, that's how you set it up. Now, for everybody when we're chipping, I like to encourage golfers to get a little bit closer to the golf ball and get it a little bit steeper with this shaft. Really nice and simple. Nice narrow stance and favor that weight on that left side. All I want you to focus on here is pointing our thumbs down at that golf ball. That's all I want you to do. For a chip shot like this, we don't need the thumbs all the way up here. So you're gonna go back and through, thumbs point, thumbs through, look at that spin, look at that control, Let's move back to those scoring irons. Let's go to the 130 yard mark. And this is a tough approach shot. Look at that there. Two heavily guarded bunkers that are just screaming, come in me. It is, uh, yeah, not nice. Right, okay. So I've got my nine iron. You might do this with sort of eight iron or even seven iron, but the drill for this bit would remain the same. But I also think for the iron aspect, there is a benefit to help you hit down too. So, address your golf ball and place your ball directly behind. Now, I've done this roughly about one of my size seven and a half feet back and behind, maybe a little bit more, and you can see that on that close up there where I placed it. I then, one club head inside, I'm gonna move my golf ball in there. Now, obviously, this feels like it's a little bit in the way on the takeaway, and certainly a little bit on the way down, but that's a good thing. Address your golf ball, focus on, from your perspective from player cam, taking the club just over that golf ball or being that the club is just maybe outside that ball like I have here, and that club face is not open, it's not closed, and this is all I want you to focus on. Right, can I hit the green? Nice strike here. And we are set dancing. Let's head back to the tee. Now, finally, let's look at the tee shot. Now, controlling this club head when there's very little loft, like I've only got 10 and a half degrees, I don't know what is on your driver, but is vital because if with the amount of speed that we're swinging it at, if it's a little bit left or a little bit right, that could be the difference between a hook or a slice. I only have to be a little bit out. So controlling that takeaway is key. So this is how you set it up for driver. So address your golf ball, okay? Just put your feet together as I have here. And then just place your golf ball on the ground about a yard behind and directly behind. Two club heads inside that now. So two club heads for driver, one and two. I want you to place your golf ball down there. Now, if I address the ball now, have a look at this from the player perspective. You can see how this is starting to create a nice bit of an arc. Really nice and simple. Don't whip it inside of it and open it. Don't pick it up outside of that. 
all I want you to focus on is being nice and relaxed and moving that triangle between your hands and your shoulders to where, from your vision, your club head is covering up that golf ball. And you can see that from the player perspective again, me just moving, covering up that golf ball. It couldn't be any simpler than that with driver. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That was a nice hit. And you can just see in your peripheral vision it going over that golf ball as you start the swing. Guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I do hope you enjoyed looking at each area of the game. And if you did enjoy the video, please hit the thumbs up button.